Lord, you know I have some things to fix around here. Please send me a clone so I have some help around here. Let's do it. Have you ever seen The Money Pit? It stars Tom Hanks and Shelley Long, and it's about a couple who pours all their money into what appears to be a dream home. But they soon find out it's not what they expected. This movie came out in 1986, but I just recently watched it with my kids. I think it has a good lesson about how things aren't always what they seem. people get things and they think they have hit the jackpot. Money, a new car, new house, new relationship. All these things can be nice and beautiful and useful, but they should not take the place of God in our lives. Let's take a look at what Jesus said in Matthew. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. What would you do if you won the $500 million Powerball? What would be the first thing that you would buy? I don't think it's a sin to like nice things. I also don't think it's a sin to have money. People often misquote that verse talking about the root of all evil. They say that money is the root of all evil. But let's actually take a look at that verse more closely. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Money is something we need to use in the world right now. God is telling us we need to have everything in its proper place. I mean, think about it. You could win the $500 million lottery Powerball tomorrow, but what does that matter if you have no love, no joy, or the peace of God in your life? In Matthew 6, Jesus tells us how we need to trust our Heavenly Father to supply our needs. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Our Heavenly Father is our provider. We need to put our faith and trust in Him and not trust in riches. A house didn't die for you and a car can't save your soul. God needs to have first place in our lives in order for us to go where He's trying to take us. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Keep Him first because He is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. We get our power from him. Thank you for watching.